This is a recent article on the man in Dallas who they say contracted the Ebola, Thomas Duncan. They say he's still critical, but he is receiving a experimental drug, and this is a different drug than what we've uh, seen the doctor a couple months ago end up getting. And the name of this one is Brincidofovir, which is a broad spectrum antiviral showing promise in lab studies. It's supposed to be being tested in animals, but has never been tested in a human. And it comes from Chimerix, North Carolina-based drug manufacturer, and they got permission from the FDA, special permission. And the hospital where the, Mr. Duncan is staying he is critical, but stable, it says. But the CDC spokesman, Thomas Frieden, the director, said that he is fighting for his life. All that, you know, that goes right along with being critical, but stable. And he says the situation took a turn for the worst. Now, Kent, Kenny Brantley and Nancy Wrightbowl, they got ZMAP. And this has got man-made test uh, laboratory designed antibodies and they claim there's no more of the Z map Dr. Richard Sakra he got a different drug TKM Ebola that's in short supply Thomas Giesbart he, de he helped develop it. said he's surprised that the doctors would choose Brincidofovir. And as far as he is knowing, there's no evidence that in the animals that that works against Ebola in animals. He would be a professor at the University of Texas Medical Branch in Galveston. That has been tested in... Uh, Cytomegalovirus and adenovirus, they are DNA viruses. And the genetic material is DNA, which Ebola, they claim, is different. It has RNA. The genetic material is RNA. And you've never heard of this drug being used for Ebola before. And this is the cameraman who arrived Monday in Nebraska. He will be treated at Nebraska Medical Center, specialized isolation unit. And this is kind of interesting here. A homeless Dallas panhandler who rode in the same ambulance after Duncan has been found after an extensive manhunt. I think I read that that ambulance uh, carried people in it for a little period of time before they actually went through some sort of decontamination process of it. This would be a 52-year-old man whose city officials identified as Michael Lively. He was admitted to Parkland Memorial Hospital Sunday after being taken into custody by Dallas police officers. County Judge Clay Jenkins said he was taken to the hospital's psychiatric ward. So it never actually says that this panhandler had it or was acting sick or anything. But it also does say there was an extensive manhunt for this guy. So apparently he must have... Uh, I'm assuming that means he was the first direct person who was transported by that ambulance after the Ebola patient was in it.
So if it's got a 21 day incubation period, wouldn't you think he'd be in isolation? And they went on an extensive manhunt for a 52 year old panhandler. He was taken into custody by the police officers. Where was he placed? In the jail with everyone else? Then he goes to the psych ward. That sounds messed up right there. But this is a recent article. It's about the, the highlight. I was highlighting the different types of experimental drugs that are now being introduced into the human patients, according to the article, whether it is or isn't. Well, that's a different question. <clears throat> But that is the gist of this article, and this is from the USA Today, as you can see. Well, that's what I wanted to bring you, is a little bit of information about these experimental things that are being shot up into these people. So keep on top of everything. We'll see where we go from here.